Hey everybody, it is me, Phil Schaffner, and I am doing a little tutorial today on how to use some of the newer iGroom products. We have Spoo as our demo model, and thanks to Julie, Julie Mooch, for allowing her to get this dirty and matted on purpose. She's been dying that I have not let her groom her dog, but I wanted her really dirty, and I wanted her to get a little bit matted, and... She's a perfect model for the stuff that I'm about to use because she's got kind of limp, kind of meh hair. And you can see she's actually white, <laughs> supposed to be white, <clears throat> but she is mad and I've already sort of wetting her down a little bit. But today we are going to be bathing her, starting with the, clari the new clarifying shampoo, just to get some of this grime off. And then we're going to do her in the True Color. Uh, Brilliance shampoo, and then we are going to do her in the Extreme Volume shampoo plus conditioner. And then when we blow her out, I'm going to show you a few of the new sprays, how to uh, use those to get more body and more volume out of your coat. So here we go. Okay, so here is the ratio that I was using for the other shampoo. You can see kind of where I've left the bottle to. It's not a lot of room. However, you can see Spoo is now clean, yet she still, and this happens to a lot of white dogs when they've been dirty for a little while, they just get a little dull. What we're going to do now is use this straight. So, peep the color. Don't have a heart attack, Jill. Everybody knows that there was a violent incident with Spoo at one point with a whitening shampoo from another company. So the way the True Color Brilliance works is, and you don't have to just use this on a white dog. You can use this on a red dog. You can use this on a black dog. It is not a bleaching agent in it. It is a optical color brightener. So the one thing you do have to do, and this should be done with any whitening shampoo, is you want to scrub until your suds are a very, 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 very pale purple. So you don't want to leave big, dark, purpley spots on them. But you, as you see, straight onto the coat. No dilution, no nothing. Dark purple shampoo. And we're going to get it. We're going to try to help fade some of this old color that she's still got in her as well. For the video that we got coming up where Ms. Mooch is going to flex a little bit with some, oops, 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 sorry, I'm gonna look, some of her color prowess. Ready? Right out of the bottle. And you got to, the most important thing is to work this color in the shampoo rather, not color, I'm sorry. Work the shampoo in until you're not, you don't have big dark purple streaks. If you get close up, this is all suds, but if you look, the suds are a very, 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 very pale lavender, almost white. And that's what you want. Here we go all. And what you wanna do is work your shampoo in. <clears throat> so this is straight, non-diluted at all, right from the bottle, <clears throat> the True Color Brightening shampoo. And you're just gonna work until you turn these suds from this deep purple color into a really pale lavender. So the other thing too, which uh, Jill just pointed out, which is actually a great thing to mention, is that no matter how dry or porous the coat is, this should not deposit color. As you see, I just um, did the first bath with a clarifying shampoo, which essentially somewhat strips the coat opens up the follicle, and then I put this True Color Brilliance straight on. It should not be depositing any sort of color. So, well, it will not. It will not. 
rather than any sort of color. And you can see, even though she looks whitish, there's still, these suds still have a purplish tint to them, but it should not be changing the color of the dog. It's gonna optically brighten her coat, make everything a little bit more vibrant, make your whites sing, make your blacks look blacker, make your reds look beautiful. It's a true color brightening, not a whitening shift, not only a whitening shift.